Allianz presents All in Formula One. Welcome to Bahrain, the Pearl of the Gulf, as this small kingdom confidently calls itself. This sandy island has blossomed thanks largely to oil and natural gas. Today, the country is the most important financial center in the Gulf region, and its capital, Manama, is a pulsating mix of business and Arabian nights. And one line doing good business is Formula One. For the fourth time, it's off to Bahrain and a circuit in the middle of nowhere, in the heart of the desert. The drivers reach over 300 kilometers an hour on the start-finish straight. Then comes turn one, the great place to attack. Bahrain, the, Aztec, Kurve. the first corner in Bahrain is good for overtaking, but as you leave it, you've then got to get the right line. It can be quicker to drive a very tight arc because then you can get a better line for the next corner, a left-hander. And that one's not at all easy to take flat out. The car's tail always tends to wobble a bit, which all costs you time and engine revs. That loses you a lot in the next straight. So it's another section that you've got to take with a lot of feeling and thought. Otherwise, you can lose an awful lot of time. You can also lose time due to the fine sand. This quickly turns the high grip surface into a slippery slide, an unpredictable hazard and a special challenge of desert racing. The long straight near the end provides good cooling for the brakes and in this dry heat that's certainly required. Decelerating by 200 kilometers an hour over just a few meters, the drivers master the final corner. It's all clear now for the extended top speed section, almost 1.1 kilometers long, and another round of the desert contest begins. It's all still tranquil and quiet in the stands, and everything's getting spruced up for the big showdown. Then, it'll all be ready for the hottest weekend of the year. All in Formula One was presented by Allianz.